Hey guys, my name is Siddharth and I play guitars for Zygnema. We are a Mumbai based band and you guys are watching Rhythm Nation TV. Well, as a kid, I always used to listen to a lot of uh, music. Uh, I, I was never genre specific. What happened is uh, rock music started appealing to me a lot more than uh, other, form, other forms of music that was existing in India. So I started listening to Brian Adams, Bon Jovi, Metallica, uh, Judas Priest and a lot of things and then suddenly I had this uh, a very strong connect with uh, distorted guitars and heavy drums and then that's how I started uh, being a lot more loyal towards heavy metal and uh, yeah, that's where, you know, the moment I started buying tapes and I started getting introduced to a lot more heavier bands, that's where my life completely changed and I decided like, yes, I want to play guitars and it has to be as loud and heavy as possible. Acoustic guitars, electric guitars, it was always appealing to me. I did learn drums for... Uh, say like say three to four months when I was in school but then you know uh, I personally felt that I couldn't emote really well I needed some sort of uh, uh, melody or aggression or some sort of phrasing uh, so the moment I had I picked up a guitar I felt that I could express what was exactly in my head and it had to be guitar As a musician, as a guy who promotes his own music, I didn't know where to go. Then we got approached by a, a Polish online radio, and then uh, they played our music online, and you know I was I was very excited. I didn't know that Europe would uh, respond to our music so well. We had some decent reviews, and a lot of people uh, buying our CDs. Not a lot, but say probably like eight to ten. Uh, you know, it's some form of weird satisfaction that your music is reaching the foreign soil. Uh, so I think that was the first time when, you know, we got featured. Barely. Uh, my practice has... My band practice is my only practice, but then I teach guitars for a living. So I, I keep playing throughout the week, throughout the month. So I always have a guitar in my hand, so if that's considered as practicing, then, you know, yes, I practice almost every day. On my acoustic guitar, yeah, I learned Holy Wars by Megadeth, I learned one Pantera track, one Metallica, so quite a few, but then I remember like, you know, the, the opening line, I learning the opening line for Holy Wars, that was, that was it, like, you know. No, none of them. It had to be uh, fucking hostile by Pantera, you know. My, my cousin gave me a tape of Walter Display of Powers. Um, he actually made fun of me because I was listening to Brian Adams and Bon Jovi. I had Best of Me in the compilation. So he was like, you know, if you want something heavy, this is it. So I was, no, uh, I was laughing at all the the song names, and I was like, what the hell is this? Like, what is fucking hostile? And then the moment I heard the opening riff, I was like, you know, that's heavy. over a decade now. We had this whole chapter on this freshwater algae called the Zygnum. So, uh, you know, I, I felt uh, that that name was really unique, just like how anthrax, you know, it's it's uh, same thing, like, you know, Zygnum is a freshwater algae, you know, based on its composition, it's versatile, it gives birth to various life forms, blah, blah, blah. Back then it made a lot of sense, right now it's just a name. Both actually, you know, it, it depends on the situation. Sometimes, you know, you want to send out a strong message. Uh, sometimes you want to uh, 
put down a whole story in say like four minutes or five minutes, you know. So it depends. Well, it could be both. Initially, I would always uh, write down a couple of riffs and then I would take it to the jam room, show it to the band and you know, we would start working on it. But for the past uh, two years, like you know, I've learned how to program drums. So to save time, I program drums, I record a couple of riffs, I share it with the boys and then you know, that's where the editing process and rehearsal begins. We save a lot of time. So yeah, I record basic structures at home and then I take it to the jam room. So that's how it works for now. I tried appearing for uh, NTA, the National Defense Academy, when I was in first and second year. I couldn't clear, I had three attempts and then I think I was kind of depressed and I, I was learning guitar just to uh, do something, you know, just besides going to college because college is not my thing. So coming from India, uh, you know, you need to have some form of uh, graduation or something. I didn't realize that, you know, I've been playing a lot of music, then I ended up buying an electric guitar, I met a couple of people, started this band going, started jamming and that's when I realized like you know this is a lot more natural than me trying other things. That's when I thought like you know maybe I should give my 200% only to music. Both actually like you know uh, it's, it's, it's a different ball game like you know as a live musician it's completely different and as a composer or as a studio musician it's completely different. You learn from both ends. Nothing as of now. Um, I am always excited. I, I want to get on stage and probably play. Uh, all I can think of is like you know wish there were a lot more people listening to this form of music in India. So. It was a college show, like you know, uh, I had just started learning uh, guitar and I just barely knew some couple of chords. There was a singer who, who could sing Brian Adams again, so, so we played a couple of tracks for our college, uh, college function or ceremony. That was it and uh, it, it felt great, like you know, playing live, playing in front of people, people responding to your performance and appreciating, so I think that's what got me for it. A year back, you know, we released our second full-length album called as "What Makes Us Human Is Obsolete." After that, we've uh, we've been trying to uh, work on a lot of uh, music videos. We have been uh, trying to get more into the digital space. Nothing, just warm up and get on stage. Somewhere in 2008, you know, we, we signed up to play this Pantera tribute gig at Raspberry Rhinoceros. It's a small underground cult place which doesn't function anymore. So, we didn't have a proper band, it was just me and Jimmy and a drummer backed out last minute. So we got someone else to play the bass. We barely had any rehearsals and for me that was like the worst show. It's like you know, I enjoy all my shows. In fact, when we released our album, like uh, we managed to plug in nine cities. Uh, so playing nine cities was a lot of fun because you know we we went into the interior parts of India, like Madhya Pradesh, like cities like Indore, Ujjain, Bhopal. So there were like 200 to 300 people at our shows over there. Whereas you know. Strong cities like uh, Pune and Bangalore had lesser crowd, so that's where uh, we realized that you know we need to be on the road a lot more often and reach out to the people who who are not fortunate enough to have live shows. That's where you know you get all the crowd from. So. I don't know. 
just putting out records and being happy with what you're doing. Just being able to play in front of honest and real audience. Being able to have three good band members, you know, who just read your, your mind, you know, this chemistry happening and like, you know, you just vibe off each other on stage. I think for me that's, that's the biggest blessing in these guys, having the best band members. Play a lot more shows, probably get sick and tired of playing shows but still wanting to play more shows. practice your asses off, do not give up, don't get disheartened by social media or YouTube reviews, just keep playing and keep believing in what you do.